Hey guys, it's JT, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I'm up here on a sky island because I was trying to collect Sunday Lions for a quest. I was just going to bring that up. Um, I'm killing two birds with one stone. A friend asked me to like give them some writing advice. Because I know how stories work. So I'm going to be getting messages over Discord through this entire writing sesh. I apologize. Sick. A lot, a lot of people are on Discord. So many, so many stuff. So many stuff was on Discord. Anyway, I am be doing a shrine now because <laughs> if. Uh, <laughs> All right, hello, shrine. All right. Time, time for shrine. Time for shrine. What you got for me? Water makes a way. You know, I don't think that's water. Let's try. No. It's red ouchy water. The worst kind of water. Oh, you meant that water. Okay. Will that stay will it stay like that or will it melt? Hut Yay. Ah. Ramp. Give me the item. A bow. We're going to switch to this one. Let's go. Ah. Ooh. I'm just gonna... Okay, so in terms of weapons... I'm gonna drop this here. Alright. 
Use my big thing to break it. This is worse. I mean, I get it. I was supposed to fuse one of these to that, but I have something already that can break shit. I'm not wasting my time. Fuck you. Okay. I think that's enough. We are gonna do what I do best. We're gonna make a bridge. Ah, oh, thank you, Master Sword. That should do. Ah, fuck. There we go. Bridge. The best solution. And there we go. I did it. Oh, I forgot how many I have. Okay. Two. I have two. Okay. Now that I have enough Sunday, Sunday lines, let's head back. Well, should I head back to Terrytown or should I explore? Launch. Hello. Get another one just in case. Do 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 do. Get another one of those. Doesn't look like anything here. Except for this, I don't know what this is. Terry Town is over there. We're gonna glide over to this. That's a Gleok flying over there. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna check it out because it looks neat. This little thing of a jig, it looks kind of neat.
Examine. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Well. I want to take a picture of it. So that if I find someone who can read ancient Hyrulean. Then I can toss it to them. Now. Actually, we have to go to the construction site. So it'll be easy, easier for us to head to the tower. Alrighty then. I'm also gonna have a snack. Cause I can, and I'm hungry. usually time my recording sessions so that in between episodes I have a snack but I'm hungry so I'm having it now as a quest to do afterwards because our current objective in Terrytown right now is just to complete quests Ten Sunday lines, then I'd be able to dole the balloon a bright yellow. But I don't know where I'm going to get them from. Here's ten Sunday lines. Just for you, my friend. Huh? That's awesome. You did. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for us. <laughs> Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Uh, I wasn't any help at all. I found my miss son. That's not true, Madison. Your papa's about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? Oh no. Why don't you help me with that? Uh, our papa, I'll help you make the sun. <laughs> Working quality, blinking, we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Yay! At last, it's done, and morning's already here. I'm just happy it's good to watch my little one sweep a bit longer. Oh. Hudson! Hmm? Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? Ah, oh, don't tell me. Yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I'll see. Alright. Oh no, she has to go away. Let's all go together then, in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Yay! We're right in the balloon, just call me Uncle Link. This is nice. Ah, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> uh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Hey everyone, take a look at that. The sun is waking up. Can't beat the view. It's a blessing the start it's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerardod Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. 
So you see, your mama will always be beside you. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Dude, I fucking love this game. It's fucking great. Papa, your present made me very happy. Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back and eat. <sighs> Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry, you can go. Go become a wonderful vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Oh. I'll come visit you in Gerda Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. That's Gerard oh. Thank you. I'm gonna become a great vi like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful vi like papa. Savork, every son. <sighs> Fucking. They kept up tra the tradition of having the oh. most wholesome side quest in the fucking game. Oh, I fucking love this place. Oh, uh, Ronson, you all managed to keep a smile on my face. Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm -hmm. Let's put ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. <laughs> All right, I am ready. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday lines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Hundred bucks. Oh. And this is from me. Another hundred bucks. Ooh. You've already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Garrett our town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vaughn aren't allowed in in Garrett our town? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, right. I guess it slipped my mind. Well. <laughs> about that. <laughs> Garrett our town, um... Might be experiencing some difficulties at the moment. <laughs> and also, I am one of the chosen few to harness the incredible power that is cross-dressing. <laughs> now I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? <sighs> Fucking, this game is great. Doo doo. Do, 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 do. Mm, yes it is, Ronson. Yes it is. Welcome to Hudson Construction. With Madison off on her own adventure, I can. it looks like I can resume working on dream homes. I'm a little uneasy though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Gerardo Desert right now after all. But there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. And in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen, or a fully furnished room, or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures, or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important, and what all of our customers truly really enjoy, which is the opportunity to assemble all those individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real course of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream, com dream home, not a home, Although you might need one, your hair's getting a little long. I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying so, so you know, thank you. Yes, please, I would love a home. I mean, Zelda kind of took my other one. That's fine. You're interested in a dream home. That's great. There is a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. 
Ordinarily, the land alone would cost you 3,000 rupees. I mean, I'm close to that amount. But it's a special just for you. I can offer a land rooms combination deal for only 1,500 rupees. What do you say to that? <laughs> what a deal! Yeah, that sounds great. 1,500 rupees, here you are. We're glad to have you as a customer. We can get started right away. As I mentioned, we already have a planned plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast of here, and it has an excellent view. Or is it just below where the shrine was? Well, it is a bit far away. There's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Ah, so that's... Okay. I understand. I understand now. Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with them there for more details. <laughs> I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home. Savork. Home on our... That's a fun pun. Alright. Time to get a house. Uh, and there's a square set up. That's nice. I'm gonna get my own custom house. Gonna get fucking Animal Crossing in this bitch. Except, without owing money <laughs> to a satanic raccoon. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, Grante son. In the in Breath of the Wild, he was just Grante, and he um, he was uh, in Terrytown, and he could sell you the Hylian shield if you ever broke it. So I guess just to fit in, he added son to the name. Hey, hello, you must be Link. I'm Grante son of Hudson Construction. Ronson, tell me about you. I'm here to answer all of your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First of all, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah. This is the plot of land you purchased. If you place the rooms we sell here, well, mm -hmm. you're on your way to building a one of a kind dream home. Oh. Let's see, it looks like your contract includes two rooms. Yeah. Excellent. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. These are the rooms. The one on the left is a foyer, and the one on the right is a bedroom. They are covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry. We'll remove them once, const once construction is complete. Now you need is to place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so that they fit nicely within the road boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the roped off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Yeah. Now, let me know when you're done so I can perform an inspection. With that, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first step towards building your dream home. Yo. Alright, so... Uh, let's... Face it this way. Give us ample space. For, uh, for expanding. Uh... Then there. <laughs> it's a fucking shit ton of ultra hand goop. Oh, that's great. Alright. I'm good. We're gonna honestly see. What can I do for you? I'm done building. I'll start the inspection right away. How is my house? Did I do it correctly? I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. <laughs> You're telling me that was your first time? Nice work. Your dream home is complete at last, so... Congratulations! I'll call Ronson over. Please wait here for just a moment. Oh. Feels good to have my own house after so long. Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? 
Of course, this is only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Grantis and if you want to know more about them. That it, this isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Oh, I can I can rep the company whenever I'm gliding. Hell yeah, that's great. Mm. I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build the dream the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look at the inside of the rooms you've placed? Yeah, I'll take a look at the inside and then I will. Take a look at the inside, and then I will see the other rooms for sale. Look at my little place. Nice and cozy. That's neat. Alright. Grante. Grande, my man, what you, what other rooms for my amazing house do you have for me? What can I purchase and attach? Sorry, I will get, I'll get off the counter. Aww. Once again, congratulations on having that construction project done. Uh, my introduction to the whole process was clear enough. After all, you have so much more to build. Maybe you like your house, your house to have the more comforts of home, or maybe just some convenient features. Mm. If you want to give any of that a try, don't tarry. Just talk to Grant Tyson. That's me. And as a construction, we offer a variety of customization options. Just buy a new room and remodel away. New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options so you can make the choice that's right for you. Now then. Oh. I... Ah. Mm. I need more rooms. Uh, buy or preview rooms. Ooh, an angled dude. There's so many fucking possibilities. Furnished angled room. Square room. Furnished square room. A weapon stand room. Bow stand, shield stand, a gallery, bedroom, a kitchen. Dude, I can have my own personal goddess statue? Dude. Paddock to have my horses. Uh, another foyer. A study. Dude. This is so fucking great. Uh, okay, trying to figure out how... What I need to try out is if I... Hmm, I might need to try some stuff out. Um... Uh, I'll buy that. I want an indoor stairs. Um, I will get this. Uh, I have enough for furnished squares. That's 450. For I don't have enough for both. We're just gonna go with that. Actually, I have an idea. To do uh, just a standard square.
there, and then... You know what? And attach that like that. Put the bedroom up there like that. Blessing room like that. Fortunately, I don't have enough for the, um... I gonna say I can't leave the space open? Or will that be okay? Mm. Alright, I'm good to go. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, eventually, when I get more money, I'll swap this out for a furnished one. I like that I can get my own personal goddess statue. That's great. Um, I'll get it like... Um, I have to figure. I have to figure out something with um, this side. Um, and if I head upstairs, here's my bedroom. It's good for now. I like it. Hey, got my own house on the map now. Okay. So, now for uh, some more Terrytown quests. So, um, Hudson is finished with his with this thing, prepping for Madison. Um, so now I can. Yeah, I can chat with Kelton and see how uh, his thing's gonna be doing. What I'm trying to say is that the goblin's most distinguishing features is nose, which I find squished upon his face like goof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite floopy, and its horn goes zwiff. Hmm, that description of yours. Can't say I'll get the picture. What's going on? Oh, hello. I appreciate you helping me with Madison. There's a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerardo Town's dealing with, well, it's had me pretty worried. But she, she's safe with her Gerardo ex escort. I'm sure they'll take good care of her. Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Oh, I'm sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Tarrytown the other day. You asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him? Sorry, sorry, I'm an awful describer of things. I'd draw you a detailed picture of a bokoblin brick if I could, but there's no arm to be found of the bones of my body. But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. And well, we'll be better for a detailed picture to refer to. How about this picture? Ah! That's it exactly! That's the bokoblin I'm looking for! Oh no, that's a good picture. Let me use it for reference, and I can make a sculpture, no problem. <laughs> Maybe borrow it. Of course. Great, just leave it to me. I'll get it made, son, and done. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink, we're done. That's why every son chooses hands of construction. A. Hey. I miss the old one. <laughs> the old, um... Because in Breath of the Wild, it was... And it ended with me... Which I liked. I liked that one. That's okay. <laughs> Look at this! It's the very monster sculpture I've been longing for! 
It was easy. <laughs> now, please, please, would you pick the perfect spot to display the sculpture on the stage over yonder? Oh. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> oh. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. <laughs> but, but, who'll arrange it on the stage for me? I will. Let's see, where does it look best? <laughs> that there looks nice. I found a nice spot for it, my friend. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, oh, such artistry! It's everything I ever hoped it would be. And so realistic, too. It's as if my nose hose might catch a whiff of the monsters at any moment. It's true. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Why are you doing an impression of me? That's very rude. I'm oh, sorry. It's true. Even I can mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. <laughs> yes, now we would show it to every eyeball in the village. Okay. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, come look, see. I present to you the famed Bokoblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Uh, when you look at it like this, it is rather cute. <laughs> this I just stole in your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Without further ado, this adorable, cuddleable monster is called a Bacoblin. They make house and come home. Make house and home through a tyro, though perhaps the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with most. <laughs> with a large, foopy ears and cute, gloofy snouties, one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Certainly, their social skills are quite stunted, and it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. Goodness, yes, I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. <laughs> Look and learn that you won't hate. Understand what you fear and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> thank you, and thank you once more. You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. Oh, monster extract. You are a great artist worthy of renown, and because of you I've taken the first step toward making my dream come true. I've long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will shine light on these magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Every one of the viewers seemed to like it, so I could probably make more. <laughs> really? In that case I implore you to make a horrible next. Horriblins have big hands like whoosh, and a coat legs like oh. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. No description. No, I still don't know what it looks like. Sorry, so simply, I'm an awful subscriber of things. I think I have an image. Ah, I do not. I do have a horrible one, though. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry, I had to talk to him again. How about this one? This image. <laughs> That's it exactly. That is the horrible one I adore. Oh, now this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference and I can make the sculpture no problem. Maybe borrow it. Of course. Alright, just leave it to me. I'll have it made, son and done. 
I liked Terrytown. Terrytown is great. All the side quests are fun. Except for the one guy in Breath of the Wild who made you kill uh, guardians. Hey. Alright. It's very hairy. He's got a big goofy nose. Ah. Shit. It won't fit the ceiling. Uh... Hold on. That looks okay. Is that is that okay, Kilton? Okay. So now, now I know the sculpture reflects like the position the monster's in in the picture, which is neat. I like that. It's a very, very dynamic. Sneaky monster soup. Hmm. All right. Oh, cool. All right, what? What next? Hey, they're 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 happy. Okay. <laughs> Us Keys Horriblin ever mean Dude, fucking Gleok. Do it, do it, Gleok. Do it. Do it. Do it. Build a big ass fucking dragon. Dude. A battle talus. Hmm. This thing looks fucking epic. Dude. It's also a way for me to fucking look at Gleox without 
being perfectly scared of them because <laughs> they're terrifying. Them faces. I know exactly where you need to go. Motherfucking king of the monsters. Fuck yeah, look at him. Uh, Battle Talus. Do I have a Battle Talus? Uh, uh, no, that's. There we go. Battle Talus. Yes. Construct construct the battle talus and then I know where I know where it can go. It doesn't have it doesn't have the dudes. Doesn't have the little fellas on top, but I attempted to fight one of these and it didn't go well. Hey. That's fun. I found you a nice spot. <laughs> I'm I'm just going to skip through all of this dialogue. It's, it's, it's just explaining what it is. It's, it's sort of repetitive. Ew. More. Cool. Got one in mind. Which which next? A frox? Oh. I we're going to complete that later. <laughs> I've heard there's something fucking massive in the depths. <sighs> I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna leave. The depths scare me. It's down that way. Doesn't use my energy cuz I hooked the battery onto it There 
there's a shrine in that direction. Oh, sorry. Sorry, fella. Well then. Let us down. I'll check that out in a bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the fan. I'm gonna cut down some trees and I'm gonna go a little old-fashioned. Make a uh Make a log raft. how that turned out. Ugh. This is... This has been... made to annoy me. <laughs> Bucks. <laughs> Jochi Ihiga Shrine. Here you go. 
I did it. All right, Jochi Ichiga, what Jochi Ishigo or whatever, what you got for me? What you got, bro? What you playing? Ooh, a blessing. The Jochi Jochi Ichiga, or I immediately got the name wrong. A diamante. Ew. Thank you, uh, thank you. My, uh, my girlfriend. All right. Now. Back to the excavation site, cause I saw another. Another quest. Don't antagonize the Gleok, which I totally remembered was here. Definitely didn't immediately forget. Hawk Hadaka. I saw a quest. By the place over here. Farnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk no one can control. What kind of fools do you take us for? Aww. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before, I'm working with Hudson Constructions to make vehicles out of the Zonite devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping a professional racers like the like the two of you can offer some guidance. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm. You found nothing among these only devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. Hey, 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 I'm not standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those zob thingabobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me something that old and rundown is still useful, please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It wouldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shavon? Oh. <laughs> Fine! If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. No, oh, um, you're not with Hudson Construction, are you? Well, I'm a friend of the owner. Guess if he's here, he must be involved somehow. Oh. The name is Ferguson. I'm working on. Hu I'm working with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a Zonai device capable of controlling the vehicles. We've tried all the devices in Terrytown, but none of them worked. We even brought in a couple of top-notch Gerardo racers to get their advice, but I'm afraid that made things worse. Try this steering stick, which I have. Oh. <laughs> What's this? I've never seen a Zonite device like this before. You've never seen a device like this before. But I don't think I can do anything with it. Not like this, anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. 
try it on that vehicle prototype so we can see how it works. I have a steering stick. Smack dab in the center. Ah, so that's how you set it up. Yes, yes, now I see how it could be used to steer something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favor to ask. Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? I don't get it. The word thing is going to make that huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. I think if I flip the switches here and here, and yes! Ah. Ta-da! It's, it's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new vehicle, and one that's completely different from the balloon. I almost forgot, during the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah. So don't drive away and don't press B. One, two, three. Four. There we go. I did it. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Hmm, that need like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Dally? No one who loves racing would, could watch that and not feel excited. We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zone 8 device's full capabilities. And, uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> you're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're all gonna have this. A sleepover ticket. A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed, a reward for collecting pony points, spend it at the stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Huh. Ah. Oh. Eh. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Cool. Can I start the next phase? Okay. Well. I need to check something. I have three acorns. So I can go to the dude in Hatino Village. Uh, and then... I can... Give him the acorns so he can make make his his feed. I will 
while, however, uh, just pop on over to my old place. Sleep the night. Oh! She had a picture of the golden horse. I didn't, I completely didn't realize until now. Until morning, I must go hand in the acorns to the dude. And then I just realized we've. <laughs> oh! When the glow fuck! The blood stained moon shines upon the land. Ah. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. C cool. What I was going to say is that I. I'm gonna hand over the acorns off camera and then when we start the next episode I think it's finally time to continue the main quest by going to Goron City but yeah I'm gonna end the episode here because we've been running for for a bit longer than I'd like to so that's gonna be the end of this episode thank you all so much for watching if you liked it be sure to like comment subscribe if you want to it is entirely up to you I shall see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.